All right, so we're going to try something that I'm going to work on now. Um, I had a thought that I want to interview some of my uh, old smoker buddies, people that I know and have grown and killed that TV, um, at least the volume. Uh, smoked weed, grown weed, done whatever, lived the life, I guess you would say, of a pothead. And <coughs> today I'd like to introduce my buddy Ozzy. Well, I call him Ozzy. Why don't you introduce yourself? What's hey, your real name? Mike. Mike? Yeah. yeah. Mike. Well, I know that, but Mike what? Mike Bodner. Where the fuck you from, Mike? I'm fucking from Australia, Stephen. I know that. <laughs> I'm from uh, Melbourne. Where's that? Melbourne. It's right down Melbourne. south. Okay. No, is it not not Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne. Oh, is it Melbourne? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the south, southern part. Yeah, the southern part. Uh, the right. cold part. What year? How old are you now? Me, I'm 62. So you're born in what year? 57. Best year the Chevy you've ever made. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> gives a fuck about a Chevy. <laughs> hey, anyway. Chevys and Harleys, mate, you can't beat them. <laughs> yeah, okay. So where were you? Uh, so how did you get here? Like, I know you were, you were raised in, in, in Australia, right? Yeah, that's exactly right, yeah. No, I come across here, my mum and dad divorced when us kids grew up in Australia. Yeah. And uh, he come across here to be with his family. Was he, was he American? Yeah, he was an American. Okay, yeah. so he, your he, mom was... he was in the American uh, Air Force. Ah, was he in the Air Force? Yeah. He was a gunner, a, 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 a belly gunner. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so... For uh, World War II? Two, two yeah. yeah. Who was you first? Damn, so, that had to be rough. Yeah, for him it was. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it was, man. That's got to be... Yeah, yeah, well, he um, didn't talk yeah, about it very sure. much. He kept it pretty, you know... I would, I would too, man. Yeah, ask questions, he'd yeah. answer them, but only briefly. Yeah. My grandfather was like that, because my grandfather was in. He was only, from what I understand, I, I'm i pretty sure I just got confirmed that he was, uh, he only went in after the fact. Like, he was there to help clean up the trains and stuff. Mm -hmm. In Germany and Poland and all those places. So, right. like, he wasn't in the actual fighting, because he wasn't, something happened with his enlistment. So he didn't get in in time to actually go fight. So right. he, he was there at the end. Right. So yeah, he well, never talked. Dad about was they were um, transferred to Australia, here from America in World War Two, and uh, that's where he met Mum. Mum was a truck driver. Really. For the, for the, uh, in the women's army over there, and uh, he met up with her and tra da 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 made a marvelous me. Marvelous you and you got how many you had you had how many brothers and sisters? Two sisters. Two sisters? Yeah, one which recent, I met. One re yeah. which you met one of them, yeah, who yeah. recently passed. And she grew up and stayed in Australia. Both yeah. of them? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I come across to look after dad when he when mum and dad divorced, he had a stroke. And they were gonna put What year him. was that? Oh shit, I'm going back twin thirty one years ago, so Damn nineties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, I stayed here until he uh, passed away, and by then I had a nice job, had a nice woman. Well, all right. Well, <coughs> how long have you been smoking weed, sir? Oh God, since I, need I was a lighter though. Since, uh, I got you. Since I was fourteen year old. Fourteen. Fourteen. How hard was it to find cannabis in Australia when you were fourteen? It was easy. 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 Yeah. What did they call it? Weed, dope, pot. Oh, okay. They just called it like we do here. Yeah, right. Yeah, they didn't have because like marijuana obviously is not the real name of it. Can no, I, I, he gave me his. Thank you. Um, cannabis is the name. Right. So I've been trying to like make a mental note that whenever I talk about cannabis, I call it cannabis. Right. And never by the like the racist uh, legal name that they designated it with medical marijuana it's not meta it's fucking still a racist term well what they is. used it because of they used racism to even get it known right so it's one of those things where it's like it should be called medical cannabis i usually just call it kush kush well, or weed yeah i get that but that's because you're young <laughs> <laughs> the but either way so you started at 14 your dad was gone by then or still around no he's still around yeah yeah he died um Mm. 18 years ago. No, I mean, living with, like, staying around you guys, like, living in Australia still? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Lived, we lived on a farm. Mm. A farm? How big a farm? Uh, about 7,000 acres. What the fuck your farm? Uh, we oats, wheat, cattle, sheep. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Did your dad grow farm. weed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
On the farm? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sativas, yes. I assume? You know what, back then, I can't really remember, Steve. I knew I used to suck on the joint and get high. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't care if it was sativa or whatever. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so Dad was growing weed, and then you basically, Dad, so, because one of the stories I remember when I first met you, because I met you about, it's been about seven years now. Seven years, yeah. Yeah. Was the, the the lucky number thirteen? Yeah. Lucky number thirteen. If you yeah. draw that number in Australia, you can legally walk up to yeah, the person and ask them, "Hey, what's the last name of you?" What? The last names. So the thirteenth letter you in the alphabet is M. Yeah. So M for marijuana. Uh, so you got to really. So get everybody knew power, back then know. if you wore the letter thirteen, the number thirteen on you. Yeah. You sold weed. That's two hundred and ninety dollars. I've got thirteen on me here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you are well, that's, out. Too. That's a grab so I want you yeah. cut. And then I got this bad ass one with like the uh, glass uh, screen. All right, motherfuckers, you don't want to be on camera, so zip it. Zip. I want you to show him my favorite tattoo. I want a six pack. No, not the new one. My favorite tattoo. Four twenty. Uh uh. That one. Oh, that one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I also got to see it soon. I can never get a six pack. I thought I'd get one forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're in Australia, 1819. You've grown weed then? Yeah. And how, like, how much weed are you, like, just starting? When did you start, like, you smoked in 14. Your dad was obviously growing when you were a child. I started growing you start doing yourself? professionally for myself and others um, when I was about 22, 23 years old. Okay. And then, because you had told me a story about how you had sat at like 12 houses for... Yeah, and on the 13th house, they decided to come and, yeah, come and raid come me. Come yeah, <laughs> to fuck you up. Yeah, they're the bastards. They did that to yeah. me. <laughs> And then, so you kept growing after you got out, like, did you oh, do jail time and stuff for that? Absolutely. Yeah. It's like riding a bike, you fall off it, you know you're going to get back on it. True. That's true. What, uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. I'm dying. Got to cough to get off. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> so... What do you, I didn't even think of any questions. I should have been more prepared for this. I never am. I don't come into these prepared. Well, I was listening to this interview today and the guy's like got notes and she's like, I got, oh, I got like three more questions I need to ask you. And I'm like, holy yeah, shit. Remember them. <laughs> they do research and shit. They got shit written down. I'm like, man, I don't know if I ever want to put that kind of effort into this kind of situation. Right. I just want to get high and talk about the silly stories that. Well, it's like when I got here, I, um. I went to a biker's bar, I thought, where the hell am I going to buy weed in America? <coughs> so I went to a biker's bar, man, the first guy was sitting at the bar, I was seeing had a ring on every finger, and I thought, he'll do. <laughs> I walked over to him, I bought him a beer, and he bought me a beer, and that went on for about a half a day, and then I popped the question, you know, anywhere you know where I can buy some weed. Oh my God, it's how, like you're lubing them up. Like how how are you going to lose? It takes a day or two. That's what it used to be, fuck. And uh, he yeah, goes, yeah, right here. He said, you can get it from me. So that was my step, me, me foot in the door in here in America. And then I decided to start growing it, as you know, and done that for many years. Huh. Well, yeah, I did. I seen it. When I met you, you're still growing. Yeah. You had your little uh, grow in your room. Um, and he went to Hydro. When I met him, he had just switched <coughs> over to Hydro. Nice. So he, he was being skipped. Huh? I've been being skipped. Oh, well, give him the joint. Oh. There you go. Um, then he was so excited to meet someone else that did hydro. Absolutely. I don't know. Well, I only did it because of the necessity. It was more, it gave me, it made me come downstairs every single day. Right. Because with the, with the dirt, it was too sporadic. I couldn't, writing things down didn't make, like it didn't see, I couldn't see it in, because you would water, because of how many plants I had, I'd only water a couple plants every right. so, you know, every right. couple days. 
where <laughs> with the hydro, I'm there every fucking day marking it, doing marking what it, needs, testing your pH you know? and, yeah. and it gave me a reason to be downstairs. Well, that's the reason I got out and went to do it. <coughs> well, two reasons: my me health, too. my health, and um, I think I grew some better weed. You want to see I'm going to answer this for a second? I don't care the heck. No, why? I don't care why. Hello? Yeah, well, we're doing a um, broadcast here with Steve yeah. at the moment, so I just thought I'd let you know. Want to try this shit, man? No, I told you. All right, man. I love you. Hey, it's fucking insane. I know, it looks like it is. It looks like a nice piece. I'll give you that. Sorry about that, Steve. I don't give a shit. Anyways. Yeah, I had to do the same thing, but mine was more because nature was just like, fuck you. Yeah. Because I had the water, like we had that flood that happened, mm -hmm. and then I also lost power for like a week and a half, and yeah. we were running hydro. It cost that way. It cost a fortune. Trying to skip them again. I know you can't I'm see. not used to four people sitting at the table. Yeah. Well, <coughs> all right, so <coughs> here's, because... It is going to be a grower's show, but at the same time, I'm interested, because you've told me a lot of different crazy stories about yourself over the years where we've talked and smoked.